Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to use input box and application input box. When I say the input box or the BBA dot input box, this is the similar thing. And the second is application dot input box. Both input box are used to take the input from the user on runtime. So I'll explain you first the VBA dot input box or normal input box. I have created few macros. I'll go to the developer tab and visual basic or you can press alt F11 to open visual basic editor window. Now here I have created these macros. So first of all, I'll tell you about the BBA input box. I have created this macro which is BBA underscore input box. Here I have taken one variable which is my input as variant. I have used it here my input equal to input box and then the first one is the prompt. You can see input the value here and then the next is the title BBA input box and if you want to put any default value you can put here I'm not putting any default value and then whatever value will be entered by the user it will message it so now I'll show you what it will return I'll go to the developer tab and macros here I will run this macro which is BBA underscore input box then it will ask me to enter the value let's say here I am entering the value as PK and I will click on OK then it will message me what I have entered so I have entered PK okay if I will enter any other value let's say test and okay it will return the test this is the BBA dot input box or normal input box you also can type it as BBA dot input box all right so both are the same thing if you want to type some default value let's say default I want to type as test then when you will run this macro this value by default will be available here you can edit this also that will be available in masses so this is the BBA input box now I'll tell you about the application input box application input box also used in the similar way the only difference is you can define the type here also what type of input you want from user so I'll show you the type here there are seven different type can be used so the first type is zero which means a formula the second is one for number then two for text four for logical value true or false eight for a cell reference or a range excel range and next is 16 16 is for error input now next is 64 this is for array values all right now i'll explain you all the type in application dot input box so the first we are taking here type 0 type 0 is for formula so here i'm just taking my input as variant and in place of vba dot input or normal input box i'm using here application dot input box and then similarly the prompt and the title and one thing I'm using here that is type 0 and again it is giving in masses whatever the input will be there now I'll show you how it will work so I'll go to the macro and I will run this input type 0 then here let's say I'm entering any formula like a1 plus b1 and click on ok then it will return like this in a formula manner like equal to then in inverted comma a1 plus b1 all right so this is for zero now the next is type 1 this type 1 is used many places because this is to input a number all right so if you will not input a number it will return a message like this is not a number the bay is the same only difference is here this time we are taking type as 1 I'll show you how it will work if I will take this input type 1 click on run then it is asking me input the number let's say I'm just giving input as a b c then what will happen this is not a number click on ok it will give me this message number is not valid and if I will type any number let's say 2 3 ok then it will message me 
I have entered this value. So if you want some input from user on the runtime as a number, you can use application dot input box and you can give the type as bun because you don't need to put any other validation because it has inbuilt validation, right? So this is very useful. The next is input with the type two. In the type two, we use the string or the text value. So this is almost similar because in the text value, you can input number or text both whatever you want to enter. Now I'll show you how it will work. Input type two run. You can enter any value A, B, C, D, then it will return. And if you will enter any number also, then it will take number also. All right. Now the next is type four. Type four we use for logical value, true or false. So here in type I'm taking as type four. Then I'll show you how it will work. If I will take type four run, if I will enter any value like A, B, C, then it will give me this message which is logical value is not valid so it will allow me to enter true and false true then it will return true if i will enter false then it will return false i also can enter the zero and one so that it will return the value accordingly now the next is input type 8 so i'll explain you how it will work input type 8 the same thing I have taken. The only difference is input type 8 works for Excel range or the Excel cell reference. So here you can see in this time I have taken my input as range and here in the masses I am using my input dot address. All right. So now I'll show you how it will work. Run. And if I will enter any value, then what will happen? It will give me this reference type you entered is not valid. This message. So what I have to do, I have to select any range and then once I will select the range, it will give me the range address. So we can use this range any other way also. For example, we want to get the count. So we can use message box application dot worksheet function dot count a and then we want to get the count from my input. My input is a range then it will give me the count also. Let's say I have selected these. These are the saving. If I will click on macros and then I'll click on type eight and I will select this range. Should we return saving? It is returning count as saving. All right, so that is how you can use. This is also very useful because in BBA input box, you cannot select the range, right? You can give some input. So, but here you can select the range also now the next is the input type as 16 16 is used to take the input of error and here the error can be different type error available in the excel like has any error dib error null error name error number error reference error etc so i have given here select case whatever the error type has been given as input it will return that error so i'll show you that one also the 16 here i am giving the input as error let's say has any then it will return this error i have entered or i can select the error from excel cell also let's say i have selected this cell click on ok so it is showing the error this error is available now if i will select any other like uh, i have selected this one right so it will return this is not an error okay because i have given this else condition as this is not an error now the last one is the input type 64 64 is used to take the input as array you can enter the value in curly bracket like this all right so here what i have done i'll show you i have created a loop and in the loop in the next line it will give the next value in the next line it will give you the next value in the message box right so it is storing the value using this loop in str and it is giving in message box i'll show you how it will return now i'll click on macros and i will run this last one which is 64 click on run and here we can enter the values like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 or any other values whatever you want to enter 
click on ok so it will give you in the multiple lines and you also can use the text values but for the text values you have to use inverted comma like here i'm using pk comma n comma excel so here i have written pk comma n comma excel comma expert then it will give me the value like this pk and excel expert all right so that is how you can use application dot input box and the bba input box it depends on your requirement but the application dot input box is more powerful because you can take the range selection also from the excel i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching